quick reports has some really great templates to generate quick and easy reports to help you understand your business better. But if one of these reports don't meet your business's needs, you can always create your own template by just clicking here, create template. And then you can go and choose any of the um, areas to add from SIFT by just clicking on that relevant area and adding the information you want. So if we want to add information from Visualize, we just click on it. We can click on Overview and maybe we want to add the financial health information. So we just click on it and click Next. And here we can choose if we want it to be monthly, quarterly, weekly. I'm going to stick with monthly and what we want it to compare to. You can also rename this report. And then once you're happy with this part of the report, you can click Add and you'll see it gets added to your overall report. If you want to add more information, so for example, we could add some information from Analyze. Let's add a profit and loss and we'll click on there and then click Next. And here we can add whether we want the standard or multi-period report, actual versus prior, and the period over which we want to look. We could also use default layouts or not, and we could rename this report. You wouldn't be able to add a build PL or a build balance sheet through Quick Reports, as Quick Reports is creating a template that you can use for all entities, and build PLs are specific to one entity. So if you want to add a build PL or a build prof a balance sheet to one of your reports, you should rather use the advanced reports feature. But we're happy with adding this basic profit and loss, so let's add that to our template, and we'll see here it appears. You can also add forecast information, so let's just add some of that. And another cool feature is the option to add commentary. So you can click on other, click on commentary, and you can add executive summary, manual commentary, or a liability disclaimer. Or alternatively, you could upload documents. Um, so you could upload organization documents. Once you've added all the information you want to in your report, you can always move it around by just dragging and dropping. So maybe you want your cash management first. You can drag that to the top. If you want to change some of the information in either, any of these areas, you just click on the cog and you can go change it. So if you want your profit and loss to be um, annually instead, you can just go change that and you'll see now it says monthly. But as soon as I click update, that changes to annual. And if you want to remove any of these items from your report, you can just click on the dustbin button. Once you're finished, you can go name your report and then click finish. If you forget to name your report, you will be prompted to name it by this pop-up here. And once you're happy with the name, you can just click save template. But before we save, there's some other cool features in quick reports. Not only do you have the functionality to um, add items to your report, but you can also decide how it's going to look. So under report configuration, you can choose if you want various headers or footers. And in either of those, you can choose for them to be blank, to have a page number, to have a date, the entity name, the entity or organization logo. And you can go and add these logos under branding in settings. So you can go check out the video on that. So once you're happy with your report configuration, you can just click save. And then when we're happy with the report configuration and all the contents of our report, we can click finish and we can save it. And now it says it has been saved and it's going to take us back to the list of all the quick reports. So you'll see here the pre-populated templates and at the bottom here, test three, that is the report that we want. We can always go back and edit it and change things just by clicking on edit. And then we have the option to generate this report. So we can generate it by clicking download. And here you can choose which entity you want to generate it for. So let's generate it for that entity. We can choose the year that we want to generate it for. If we want to apply a default layout, we don't have any layout layouts for this entity, but we could choose that. And you can also include a watermark. And once you're happy, you can either click Excel or PDF, and that will generate your report in either Excel or PDF. You can also share your report by just clicking on this share button. And here you have two options. You can either get a preview link or schedule report. So if you click on get a preview link, you will be able to choose the entity that you want to generate this report for. You'll be able to add a watermark. And when you click generate link, you will get a link to a PDF version that you can, you can send that link to someone and they'll be able to see a PDF preview of the report. 
You could also schedule this report and that will take you to the schedule reports feature under reports. And here you again can select the template. So we're going to use test three. That's a template we were working on. We can select our entity and our watermark. And then we can go through all the different selections within the schedule reports feature, which you can go check out in the schedule reports video. And at the end, you'll get an option to send this report and share it with someone else. So I hope you have found this useful, this video on quick reports useful and I hope you'll have many happy turns with quick reports.